So let me ask you something. What do you think about this? Wayne Gretzky has been named as the global ambassador for Beijing. Well, uh, I knew that. Um, I'm, in fact, we're going. I'm going with Wayne on September the 11th, the 12th to the 20th. We're going over to do some vignettes and and get on the ice with some kids. And and uh, Wayne uh, signed a contract with the Coonan Red Stars uh, about a year ago, just now, less than a year now. And he and I are like ambassadors, but Wayne Gretzky is Wayne Gretzky, and Phil Esposito is 78 years old. 77 years old. <laughs> yeah, but how old's Wayne now? Wayne's got to be 52, 53? Well, I think he's older, maybe 54. Right? Yeah. Born, born in 61. Hey, hey uh, Espo, for the, for the complete unwashed, your connection with China is because of dot, dot, dot. Help, help us out. I, I connected with this uh, with China because of a guy named Scotty McPherson. Cool, and that's how I connected. And I, I know Scotty very well, and Scotty yep. is a mover and a shaker in the hockey uh, promotion and uh, stuff. He's done yep. a lot of I mean, uh, a lot of uh, stuff in Russia. He's uh, very well known. And yeah, uh, Scotty's one of my best friends in the world, actually. And uh, and the funny thing is that um, he asked me. He said, "Would you come to China?" And, and talk to uh, Billy Nug and uh, uh, Alex Chow and a bunch of these other guys. They really want to start promoting hockey, and they want to be competitive in the 2022 Olympics. But, Phil, is this in northern China? Uh, Beijing and Shanghai. Shanghai, Shanghai, Shanghai. Yeah, Shanghai is great. I, I, I was in Shanghai. We went there for the Grand Prix, me and Mike Cesare, and I thought we were going to get arrested because we're walking down the main drag in Shanghai, and there's got to be hundreds of thousands of bikes. I don't know how the fuck they ride together without crashing. It's all syncopated. It's like synchronized swimming. And and we're shooting a, a show there, and uh, he he wants to stop people and interview them and i said listen you fucking moron i don't speak chinese what am i gonna say to them yeah that's funny yeah that's yeah. funny but, but but you and mike went huh yeah we yeah. went for the grand prix because we were sponsoring the jordan and uh you know it was crazy to be in shanghai population of canada and going to the port and you see these hundreds of thousands of ships every day oh. leaving i've never seen anything like it in my life well, I can tell you this, Frank, not this last time, the time before when I went to Shanghai, I went um, to this thing where, uh, in this big, huge bar, where there was about 150, 200 Canadians that play hockey over there, and they have their own little league. And I had a blast with these guys. I really did. And a lot of them were Vancouver, Toronto, Winnipeg, you know. They were from all over the place, and they're all over there working. So they started their own little hockey league. Well, there's a lot of Canadians, a lot of Americans working in Shanghai, but Shanghai is one of the most uh, strategic ports in China, and it, and it's crazy the 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 amount of and it's crazy how big the city is. How well, you know what surprises me? They're supposed to be communists, but boy, they're more capitalist than I've ever seen. Well, they they are. It's a communistic uh, society with a flavor of capitalism. Yeah, 